my name is Jeremy and uh, I was at Schema from 2016 to 2020 and today I work as a lead product at Laforge. So Pierre Kemener, I'm 26 years old. I've been working for two years at Vinci Energies as a project, innovation project manager and especially working on artificial intelligence and automation projects. So I work at Laforge and Laforge is a startup studio. So it is a company that built other companies. And uh, we, are, um, we aim to uh, democratize the expertise of uh, healthcare uh, experts with artificial intelligence products. So I worked at uh, Vinci Energy Information System Department called VESI. And as a project manager, my role is to align uh, different stakeholders on uh, one project, for instance, the business, uh, our internal management and our data science teams to meet uh, the expected uh, results. I think I remember most the technical part because it is a totally different, different dynamic from what we used to learn uh, in the past of our uh, of our studies, and um, this dynamic is uh, really important when you are in the when you were working with the engineers, uh, not only AI. I have in mind three different courses. The first one is uh, um, mathematics for AI. It's, it is key today when you work in, uh, specifically in machine learning to have uh, knowledge about how mathematics uh, and machine learning works. Uh, the second one is about cloud computing because today in every, uh, every IT project, you need to have uh, cloud computing or architecture uh, knowledge. And the last one is uh, what we call the Microsoft project because it was a really uh, a good added value for us to, um, to present to Microsoft Teams and have uh, a first overview of uh, what the high tech company expect from, uh, uh, from um, students. With this master, we are at a crossroad between um, the business part and the technical side, especially AI. And there are a lot of very good people are in techniques and a lot of good people in, in the business side. But at the crossroad, there is something uh, very unique. And I think that is what is the most interesting with this, uh, this master. For me, it was really to have a first deep interest into IT and artificial intelligence, um, as well as, as Jeremy said, uh, to have first um, overview of our uh, technical part, uh, IT uh, uh, knowledge or artificial intelligence, and artificial intelligence project works uh, and the business part to be able to present to uh, business uh, people as well as executive people uh, to, uh, to conduct a project um, uh, at, the, at the end. Uh, the first one is because, for instance, in the tech industry, uh, the research goes uh, really, really fast. So it's really important to, to remain updated of the latest uh, innovation on the market. So uh, for that, uh, you can, uh, in the artificial intelligence sector, you can follow some uh, well-known researchers, such as Yann Lequin or Aurélie Jean uh, for France, uh, Andrew uh, NG for USA, or um, even um, Kai Fuli uh, for, for China, because China is a leader in this sector. Uh, and also to continue to learn, so continuous learning, uh, because there is a lot, there is uh, plenty of uh, resources on the internet. I think my main advice would be be curious, and if you can be involved in projects that are outside the school and are AI related, uh, let's say data for good or that kind of uh, of um, of projects, because they will show you the kind of uh, problems you will have. Uh, when you work with different people from different backgrounds. 